Yellow, and we're back with more Song of the Deep. Looking for one more turtle, I think it is. A green one. So I can get through to the final boss. Here we go. Just Garbahe again. Here we go. Oh, I did it perfectly last time. Come on. The other one's fine. There's the teleport trade guy. Yeah, the green one. And there he is. Yeah, I have to go that way. Shite! So I have to go down here. Oh, I never saw it last time because I was in a hurry. Not to get killed by the losers. Oh, shit. Here we go. Okay, that's not so bad. That's easy. Okay, I gotta speed it up, though. You gotta be impressed a little bit, like by a little bit. Merin called the hundreds of ships strewn across Skeleton Reef, and the great red tentacles that had dragged her to the bottom of the sea. Oh, the fuck do I get up there? Oh. So she would have to face that creature again, and this time she would be ready. <laughs> I still have the same armory that I had before, I think. Besides the sonar, I think. All right. Let's fucking do this. Okay, I'll take that. Sanity check, got everything. See you later, dude. Good luck, don't die. <coughs> Alright, this is it. Rimarosa. Yep. At last, final save. Her destination. The lair of the Rimarosa. She had prepared herself to face anything. And still she wasn't ready for what she saw next. Could be her dad as an yeah. octopus. Trapped inside a diving bell, but still alive. Oh, the dad. Was her father. Okay. Well, let's fight. Comes, what's he gonna do? Oh, I'm just pulling shit off of him now? Okay. Okay. Fucking hit combo I got going on right now, dude. Here it comes.
Here we go. That's what I was waiting for. Get fucking wrecked, fool. shattered the Rimorosa was at last free from the Flamori's control okay the creature swooped out of its lair smashing through the columns of rock beneath the forbidden city the heavy city began to collapse under its own weight and fall down into the trench below Merrin raced to free her father from the diving bell but the collapsing city was falling down all around her Merrin grasped her father's hand as an avalanche of debris plummeted toward them she closed her eyes as the darkness fell over her. When she opened her eyes, there was a roof of green, gleaming scales above her. A giant queen leviathan had taken the brunt of the blow from the falling debris. A moment later, a much smaller serpent swam down toward her. It was Swish. Is this your mother, Swish? Marin asked in astonishment. But Swish just wagged his tail and beckoned for her to grab on. She and her father grabbed hold of the two leviathans, and together they swam up, out of the still collapsing debris of the Forbidden City. They swam out of the darkness, and into the gleaming rays of sunlight that streaked through the water's surface. And at last, for the first time in what seemed like ages, Merrin and her father looked out over the waves toward their house in the distance. How did their father hold his they breath for that long? They the pair of leviathans, and Merrin promised to come play with Swish each day in the deep waters below the cliffs. And bit by bit, Merrin's life slowly went back to normal. She and her father traded a few of Merrin's golden coins for a beat-up old fishing boat. Working side by side, they soon had it ready to sail. Merrin no longer had to wait at the cliff's edge. Her father took her out to sea whenever she wanted to go. As they fished, they shared the stories of their own great adventures, both knowing that every word was true. And sometimes, late at night, Merrin thought of all the mysteries she had yet to answer. She thought of Kara, the sea garden, the eggs, and hoped they were all safe. Someday, she thought, someday I will see them again. Song of the Deep 2. That boss fight was pretty underwhelming. Like, it I don't know. Well, that's, there you have it. That's Song of the Deep, gentlemen and ladies. Can I skip this? Yeah, I can. Cool. <coughs> yeah, it takes me to the main menu again. Sonya Games. Nice little Metroidvania. It's very, um... How can I, how can I say? It's very, it's very geared towards children. Like, a very easy Metroidvania. Cause once you level up that claw, like I don't, you don't even need to use the explosives unless you're gonna bombard the uh, those titan fishes. And the enemies coming from a, from like the background I wasn't a huge fan of. I think regular placements would have been fine, but it doesn't matter. It was still it was all right. Well, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll probably see you guys in the. Probably the next year, because I don't think there's going to be another, another game this year in 2016. We're ending it with Song of the Deep. I'll probably catch me streaming, but... That's it. Have a happy new year, and Merry Christmas. Bye.